performance from the team from Worcestershire and by a record aggregate margin of 10-2, Bromsgrove win the Bob Lord Trophy. Steve Taylor there got a hat-trick, Ricky Carter there got two, Steve Stock got the other one, and the only consolation goal for Kettering came from a Carl Alford penalty nine minutes from time. John, still there is no question about it that Bromsgrove are very worthy winners. Absolutely, John. Um, to be honest, it, it's as, as good an all-round performance as I've seen all season. Not least of all, the, the fact that when they was that far in front, they kept attacking and attacking when it was easy, really, to see the game out. Well, all the smiles are from people wearing green and white tonight. Oh, let's go back to the studio quickly to hear from Colin about the stats of the evening. Statman. Thank you, John. Well, overall, Kettering scored 75 points. Bromsgrove 105, which is 180 points for the total, which is the second highest game we've ever seen. But going in reverse order, Ricky Carton and Carl Alford finished with 17. Ian Arnold, 18 points. Simon Berger, 21. And Steve Taylor, who racked up the second top score we've ever seen, 27 points, which was three goals and five pass assists, gave him 27 points and the, the Playmaker Award winner. There's also yeah. our equal playmaker award winner last week with Ricky Carter, so it's obviously two, two games in the trot. So congratulations to Steve Taylor. We'll be hearing from him in a minute, I'm sure, and we'll be seeing the trophy presented. Here is Steve Taylor now with Darren. Well, Steve, what a fantastic performance. Yeah, it was tremendous. All the lads did well. Uh, Gaffer said to us, set our stall out from the off, and we, uh, we matched them. And we just started to enjoy it. We had a couple of lucky goals, I'd say. Mine was a bit of an embarrassment, right? but enjoyed it. And uh, after that, we just uh, relaxed and started to play. And we got stronger and it found it easier. Had trick for yourself as well. Yeah, it's my first one, so I'm out of the moon about that. You know, I just uh, can't believe it, really. I said to Ron Green, you've been practising against him. Oh, yeah, Ronnie lets me score against him, so I get my confidence up. <laughs> the lads kept battling all the way through, even when they were 5 6 nil up. Yeah, we, we said at half time, you know, we just relax, enjoy it, go for it, we want more goals, and we just we didn't want to concede a goal, but unfortunately the penalty, but uh, that's the way it goes. Thanks very much, Steve, congratulations, and back to you, John. Well, what a time to get your first hat trick in the final of the Bob Lord Trophy. And Steve Taylor, remember, signed only last season from Russia Olympic, but he's been outstanding every time we've seen him. Uh, this season, no question about that, and he's got a knack of scoring goals, John. Well, he has, and I thought he led the line ever so well. I, I, I was very, very impressed with his movement, very impressed with his strength, and as I say, you know, all goal, all goal scorers need a little bit of luck, and as he said, he had a little bit of luck tonight, and uh, that's a sign of a good goal scorer. So we're awaiting the presentation of the trophy, obviously. Just, uh, well, this may be the moment, the announcement being made here. The chairman of the Vauxhall Conference, Mr. Bill King, is being assisted by Peter Hunter, chief executive of the conference, and John Moles, secretary of the conference as well. And in a moment, we will see the captain of Bromsgrove Rovers step forward. And before that, in fact, Kettering as the losers are coming forward first. Here's Gareth Price. Great to see him playing in a cup final for the brain tumour he had earlier this season. The captain, Phil Chard, Simon Clark, Ian Arnold, the in-string fellow, Owen Wright, Peter Gleesia, the goalkeeper, beaten six times on the night, but it's still great to play in the final. Phil Brown, who's been a great show, Richie Norman, the physiotherapist on the side. One or two Kettering players missing there, perhaps they couldn't stand the moment. And the words from the fans are, bring on the champions. They'll receive their individual tokens as well as the trophy, of course. The referee, Roger Fernandez from Doncaster. His two linesmen this evening, Richard Nichols and Philip Hill. And the reserve official at the back, Roger Burton. They've played their parts on this splendid evening for Bromsgrove Rovers Football Club. And there is the trophy. Where is the captain? 
he'll be stepping up any moment now and there'll be a great roar I can tell you from the travelling band who've come from Worcestershire into Northamptonshire so Bill King chairman of the conference shakes the hand of the manager the captain Kevin Richardson <laughs> the Bob Lord trophy belongs to Bromsgrove Rovers Alan Judge there who made two heroic saves in the first half it could have been such a different story but for him there is Jimmy Skelding who's played 400 plus games for the club Craig Gaunt Stuart Brighton the young substitute Andy Marlow Steve Taylor the hat-trick hero the first of his career Nicky Clark Simon Berger who had an absolutely wonderful game tonight Steve Stott and the substitutes there, Brian Gray, Lady Smith who came off at half-time, and Ricky Carter. It's been a true team performance, John Still. Yes, it has, and uh, those players can feel just before they travel with their performance. Um, I was very, very impressed with Bromsgrove, and uh, I, I, I think that that's as good a performance as I would have seen this year. Joyful scenes. A word from Dave Venables in the studio. You really can't deny them their moment of triumph. No, um... What's nice is that they're all, um, as, as has been said, they've all played an awful lot of games for the club. People like Kevin Richardson have been there a long time, Stuart Brighton, uh, Steve Stott. And it's lovely for, for those players who have stayed loyal at their clubs uh, to uh, actually go through and win something like this. Mark, you and I have been here just about every week. Our season started here at Kettering, didn't it? And you that night promised goals on Sportswire every night. I think this has been the best night of all, hasn't it? I think we had one night, didn't we, John, where we had uh, Dagenham and Welling uh, scraped a nil-nil 